Hey, everyone. Today, I would love to have you tune in to listen to myself and one of our engineers, Chena, talk about how to manage connections in Azure Data Studio and specifically how to make them more secure. Hey, everyone. Welcome to this episode of Open at Microsoft, where we're going to talk about managing connections in Azure Data Studio. And Chena is one of our engineers, and she's fabulous. And uh, I brought her along today because I wanted her to talk through some of the more technical bits of that and, and what we've been doing. So Chena, thanks for making time today. It's my pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So I wanted to start in Azure Data Studio. And I'm just connected to uh, an Azure SQL database here. But I'm going to go ahead and create a new connection. And then there's a couple of things that I know that I'm going to do that you're going to want to fix, right? <laughs> um, so if I create a new connection in Azure Data Studio, and I'm going to connect to a SQL 2019 instance, and I'll zoom in here, right? So you can see that I'm connecting to a SQL Server database. It's uh, a, My instance is named, it's a named instance, so 2019. And then I'm just going to go ahead with Windows Authentication. And I just have a couple encryption options connected or selected here. So I go ahead and say connect. And then I've gone ahead and now I have this connection. So one of the things that folks like about Azure Data Studio is that then I can go ahead and I can create like a group. So these are like my production databases and maybe I'll make this red and I can say, okay. And then I can drop that 2019 connection into my production one. So this is just kind of basic and fundamental, but Chino, there's been some new stuff that we've added that you've helped add that I'd love to hear you talk about in a little more detail. Yeah, absolutely. So I think let's go back to the connection dialog so I can talk about the new properties that we have mm -hmm. moved over. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, um, as you see there, encrypt and trust server certificate are the two options that are now available. Um, these were not available on the main dialog, but they were always available in the advanced options. Mm -hmm. um, but the reason why we moved them here is because now we are enabling encryption by default, uh, which was not the case before. It wasn't the case. It is it still isn't the case with SSMS yet, um, but this has been enabled to enhance security. And um, so, yeah, I'll just briefly talk about what encryption means for SQL Server and how does it actually work so I can explain more about the properties and how, what should be the best decision for our customers. Um, so when you enable encryption on a SQL Server connection, uh, what happens under the need is there are going to be two steps to establish that connection. Um, the first step is to basically establish a trust with the server, mm -hmm. which includes first you need to basically um, negotiate on a common TLS protocol. Uh, so both client and your server support TLS and they need to support the same TLS protocol in order to establish that connection. And the second step is basically certificate validation, which means your client needs to install server certificates in mm -hmm. order to trust that server. So we need to include the, both of the steps in order to establish a trusted connection. And then your all the communication that happens with the server gets encrypted. So that's the flow. And the reason why we've enabled encryption by default is to be able to encrypt the entire communication channel by default. Mm -hmm. And if users want to now play with it, um, they will be able to either they want to trust server certificate, which means that if you don't have this server certificate installed in a client, you can go ahead and enable the trust on the server certificate. And you don't need to install the server certificates on your machine if you don't have them. Or if the server is not configured with something like that, they can still enable trust server certificate and establish an encrypted connection. So that's one of the important things here. Um, so yeah. Okay. Now, <laughs> this is new in Azure Data Studio, and we added part of this in the November release, right, which was 1.40. Yeah. And now we're up to 141, but what we're looking at here is actually um, an insider build, and you have some new stuff in here that's specific to um, what's going to be our next release, right? Yeah. Um, and it's specific to SQL Server 2022. Right. So okay. I think um, this build that you're looking at is the stable build. Mm -hmm. So, um, but I can simply talk about what's coming in Insiders. Okay. Um, so there's going to be a new encrypt property option that will be coming up, which will be strict encryption. Okay. Um, that's exclusive yeah. for SQL 22. 
Mm-hmm. And that's something that when you set up that, what that does is, is basically it enables TDS 8.0 on the server communication channel. So TDS mm-hmm. 8.0 is the new um, communication protocol between your client and the, and the server, mm-hmm. which is starting up with SQL 22. And what that does is it enhances your security. It also encrypts your um, TDS uh, exchange of the pre-login. Um, so more details I leave it to customers to dive in, uh, but I'll just briefly talk about that is when you enable strict on encryption, um, that will it's, basically enable TDS 8. And there's a setting that we have to change in Configuration Manager also, right? Yeah, that is optional. So basically how encryption works is you can enable encryption on the server or you can mm-hmm. enable it on the client. Either of the two, uh, whichever is the most secure option will be chosen. Got so it. if you have enabled strict on the client, your connection will be enabled with strict encryption. But you mm-hmm. can configure these options on the server side as well to okay. enforce those properties. Got so, it. yeah, these are the ones that we can briefly talk about as well if you want to zoom back in. Sorry, um, sorry. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here, but that's right? the good stuff. Yeah. Okay. So when you force encryption on the server side, what mm-hmm. that means is that any customer uh, who's trying to connect to the server will have to enable encryption on their end. Their end. They cannot set encrypt false anymore. Um, that's the that's the forcing encryption part. Mm-hmm. They can still, however, trust your server certificate. Uh, Got it. But when you enable force strict encryption, mm-hmm. um, that means that you will no longer be able to trust server certificate. Also, you have to have a client side server certificate installed. So that's the reason why strict encryption is so important, and it's coming up. Um, it's also going to be out in Azure Data Studio. Uh, sorry, Azure SQL Server soon. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's why Azure Data Studio has been prioritizing to bring that in. And in our next stable release, we will have it available. So if you are connecting with SQL 22 and you want best security out there, you want to make sure that you enable that on the server side and connect with it from the Azure Data Studio. So if I want to make sure that I got the last part. So we want to make sure, like in the most strict sense, in the most secure sense, that we would want to have force strict encryption on SQL 2022, right, set to yes for an on-prem or a SQL on a VM type of instance. In Azure SQL database, that will eventually already be set for us, right? Yeah, that's going to be out there maybe in a couple of months. Um, It's not yet rolled out, but um, in future, strict encryption is going to be more popular. Um, But Windows devices already have server certificates installed for Azure. And we Mm -hmm. already do enable encryption by default for Azure without even anybody noticing it. So that's already (laughs) happening all the way. Uh, It has to be, it's a mandatory to enable encryption, but now certificate validation can no longer be skipped. Um, So that's the new strict option. Okay. Awesome. So there's a ton of things related to connection and we touched on like just a couple today. So um, <clears throat> in the interest of time, I think what I would love is for us to have a follow-up conversation, if that's cool with you. So we can talk about some of the other things within connections beyond just kind of managing and color coding and these new, very important security options. So can you come back another day? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'd love to. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Thank you so much, Chena. And for those of you who are using SQL Server, whether you're running it on-prem, in the VM, Azure SQL, and you're using Azure uh, Data Studio, hopefully you now understand what these additional options are that you are seeing on that initial connection string. And hopefully now you're going to have those more secure environments. Thanks for watching. 